Thank you, Harry. We're here at Rhode Island Tennis Academy, and today we're going to teach you how to serve like a champion. So first, of course, is how to hold the racket. The grip, very important. If you don't have the right grip, there's no way you can learn the proper technique. We're going to use what is called the hammer grip or the continental grip in tennis terms. Basically, you just hold the racket like you will hold a hammer, like so. Imagine this is the side that you will be hammering with and that is the grip for your serve. So we have a lot of different styles of serve. We have the Williams sisters, we have Roddick, we have Federer. So we're gonna try to get one of those motions and imitate it the best we can. I think Roger Federer is a very smooth motion, so we're gonna go with that. So now we need to understand how we stand in relation to the core. We wanna be about two, two to three feet away from the middle of the court. Our left leg is gonna stand right before the baseline and the back leg, the right leg, is going to be a little bit behind, about a foot behind the left. The next step is a routine that you have to make your own. You have to bounce the ball two or three times. We've seen Djokovic bounce it like 11 or 12 times. And during this time, players think where are they going to serve. In my opinion, another key ingredient for serving is the toss. Where you toss the ball. The ball should be tossed around 12.30 or 1 o'clock for your first serve, which is what we're learning today. Very important that when you toss the ball, the left arm doesn't start to wander too much. Okay, it's very important in the toss for your first serve, toss the ball forward. Don't toss it backwards, don't toss it on top of you. Toss it forward so you can have forward momentum as you hit the serve. All right, as you hit the ball and you toss the ball forward, you're gonna go inside the court. Always finish inside the court with your left leg. So. You're gonna go here, finish here, and one more step forward after, recover back. Or you can go to the net. So the serving motion, so you can relate a little bit, is very similar to an upward throwing motion. So if you have an old racket like this one, I won't throw the one I want, I like. You have an old racket like this one, and you can practice in a field with grass, right? Today I may break a racket just so I, you can learn. You want to get set up and do like you throw in a racket. Forget your serving. Just throw it. Okay, so now we're ready to serve. First thing you do, because we're trying to imitate Feather a little bit, we're going to go both arms down together and then up together. There are a couple of things you need to synchronize though when your arms go up. First one is, as your arms go up, you need to turn your back to the court. The second thing are your knees. When your arms go up, your knees go down. Arms up, knees down. After the racket goes up and the knees are down and you turn your back to the court, now you're going to achieve a position that I call the trophy position. Why? Because we see this position in all the trophies that you win when you win tournaments, which you will after you learn this serve. And it's this position. When you get to this trophy position, notice the racket head. A lot of players make the mistake of having it here. You don't want it there. You want it right here next to your head as if you had like a halo so to speak not here obviously but a little bit to the side behind your head so after you get to this trophy position and the racket is here by your head you gotta drop the racket notice the elbow up you drop the racket and as you drop the racket you're in this position you have to start to extend your knees as you go up to hit the ball Another very important part is your left arm. Your left arm tosses the ball, stays up for a while. When do you bring it down? Three quarters up of the knee extension, you bring your arm down. Don't bring it down too soon. So you come down here, the knees start to extend, you bring the arm down. Don't bring it any sooner, you're gonna drop the left shoulder, the ball goes straight into the net. Obviously very important is to look at the ball. As you do that extension and you're reaching up in the air on your way up to hit the ball, you gotta make sure you keep your head up. So now we're ready to hit the ball. You have to make sure that you hit the ball on your way up from your knee bend, not on your way down. I wouldn't recommend trying to hit the ball at the highest point possible because if you try to do that, 
you're probably going to be coming down as you hit it. So try to hit it a little bit before that ball reaches the highest point. So as you hit the ball, you're still going up a little. If you hit and land at the same time, you're hitting the ball on your way down, and chances are the ball is going to go in the net. So now you bend your knees, and you bend your knees so the force goes into the ball as your knees extend. When your knees extend, you're going to get off the ground between 2 and 5 inches, but you have to make sure you get off the ground. That will tell you that you're using your knees into the serve. So listen, I just told you a lot of things about the serve, a lot of things to digest. So one thing at a time, and you can do it.